This video is about inflorescences. Very simple, an inflorescence is a cluster of flowers that are arranged in different patterns. This is in comparison to a simple flower that's found by itself. This concept is similar to having simple leaves versus compound leaves. If you're not used to looking at different types of flowers in more detail, you might think that these white flowers and these yellow flowers are pretty similar. But when you get closer, you can see that these yellow flowers are up and down the stem. If you look closer at the white flower, you can see that all the individual stems are attached to the main stem at the same point. But if you look even closer, each of those individual clusters, the white flowers also fan out from a secondary stem. This is called a compound umbel. Flowers are really distinct between families of trees and other plants. So if you find the flower, you're in luck. You have a much better chance of being able to figure out exactly what tree that is. So if you can find the flower, take a note of the characteristics, reference a book like this, you can start flipping through the section relating to flowers or inflorescences. So I already looked through this, um, I already knew it was an umbel. And you can also have a compound umbel, which is what we had. So here's an example of where that comes into play. For this plant family, the parsley family, the flowers are described as being arranged in umbels of umbels, compound umbels. And this is the, the plant we were just looking at. This is kind of cheating because I already knew what had an idea of what it was. But if you didn't, it would help you narrow down what your plant family is and what your species might be. As far as tree care goes, you'll run into inflorescences in a situation like palm pruning. So in addition to removing these dead fronds here, you might be removing large inflorescences before they can get a chance to set fruit because that fruit can be very messy or even dangerous. I think the takeaway for an arborist would be to know that these arrangements exist and to have an idea of how to observe them and where to look up more information and then slowly start learning your families and being able to identify trees that way. But realistically, I think it might be kind of challenging um, taxonomy is not very easy. You do have to memorize characteristics, but over time, as you're more familiar with what a species looks like in this, this family versus that family, it'll get easier.